cup of tea, delightful. I'm looking forward to these all day. Wonderful, wonderful they will be. Charles! Good Lord, man, why are my lovely Elisi biscuits empty? Why are my champ Elisi biscuits gone? Good Lord, man! I requested... Did, I've been looking forward to these all afternoon! It does, I'll have to settle for custard creams now, man! Good Lord! Custard creams. And I know they're a nice biscuit, Charles. I was just looking forward to my champelissi. Good lord. It's a good job I have a spot of tea. Alright, I'd be, I'd be kicking you out of here with such force and ferocity that the cannons of Windsor Castle would not know. Good lord. Once again, boys and girls, and it is I, Sir Reginald. I'm uh, rather looking forward to a very special box of biscuits. My Champelissies. But, alas, that is not to be. However, this does remind me of the time, but a wonderful fellow called Elysi. It wasn't in Paris, where the champ Elysi is. No, no, this was rolling down the, uh, down the river. The, uh, where was it now? Where was it? Oh, good Lord. If only I could remember. This will hold the key. Ah, oh, of course. The year was 1673, and we were on the, um, the Amazon. We were in the Amazon, yes. Uh, I was there with, uh, with Elise. And we just discovered the most magnificent thing that you could ever possibly hope to see. Even better than a biscuit. A golden unicycle. Yes, I know. Close your mouths in shock and wonder, it's quite repulsive really. But yes, a golden unicycle. Something we'd never thought to be possible. Especially not in that kind of time. No, good lord. We, we, we look around at the modern technology of automobiles and transcontinental donkeys which can just gallop across the water nowadays but uh, back then back then you have to remember that things were a lot simpler and the sheer prospects of, of discovering a unicycle let alone a golden one 
was something of legend, really. Many men had set out to the worlds far, far beyond our shores in search of these legendary modes of fabled transport. And as we pushed our way through the, the mighty rainforest, mighty, mighty indeed, I, there were many a times when I had to settle a score or two with an unruly tree or shrub. I remember one precise instance. Oh, God, let me tell you. In fact, I need a swig of tea just to settle my nerves. Oh, God. <clears throat> <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Charles, are you trying to poison me? I know I made the tea myself, but I know you're up to no good, sir. Don't take the coy game with me. I'll capture more carp than you ever could. Hmm. Yes. So, anyway, the Amazon rainforest, and there was this bush, I believe his name was Johannesburg. And I was just minding my own business, seeking passage through, and it's just a branch stopped me dead in my tracks, and I said, well, good sir, I bless you on this fine afternoon. May I kindly have passage through this jungle path? And he just stared blankly at me. The sheer elegance Elegance of this inanimate shrub! Ah, it got my dander, it got my dander right up, it really did, I must say. So, I stood there, ready for confrontation. Johannesburg, not moving, not the slightest flicker of interest at all. I say that is the ultimate, the ultimate I just, I don't have no words. There aren't no words to describe. I need another swig of tea. Really do, really do. <sighs> Much better. But this bastard bush hit me in the balls. It was not fair. Uncalled for unruly act of war. And from that moment on, I vowed that I would not settle until every bush bowed to me, or at least acknowledged my presence in a civilized manner. Johannesburg was having none of this. No, no. He not only saw it proper, to strike me in my gentleman's region. No, no, he decided to flip me over and then start playing my backside as if it were some kind of drum instrument. The bongos, I believe they call them. Bongo, bongo, bongo. Yes, indeed. Right cheek, left cheek, both at the same time. Is that the, the drumming, the, the repetitive drumming? Still with me today. Sometimes I wake up streaming, streaming with sweat, fear in my eyes. The drumming, the drumming of Johannesburg strikes me. Still there, ticking away. <laughs> 